When Wic Editor loads, there's going to be a pop-up that shows you what version it is, and you can click try it or just click away. If you previously had a project open, you will get this message. You can click load, delete, or the X in the corner, but you might not get that message. This is our workspace that we are going to use to create animations, and I want to make it bigger using the function 11 key. This will put it into full screen. If you accidentally click function 12, you'll see code, and to get it to go away, just hit function 12 again. If you accidentally hit function 10, you will get a screenshot of your screen. What I want to share with you are some of the basic tools. So if I scroll down here, we have onion. We have pan. Pan lets me move our canvas around. We have zoom in, zoom out. And then if you are zoomed in, there's a button called recenter and it will recenter the canvas. The play button on the end, we don't need it yet, but that's how our animation is going to play. Above, we have a undo and redo, a copy and paste, but we're going to use the short keys, and a delete, which you can also use the short keys, the keyboard. And the tools that we have to draw with are a cursor, brush, a pencil, an eraser, a rectangle that can also be used to make squares, an ellipse that can make circles or ovals, a line, a path, text, fill, and then the eyedropper. So we are going to open the WIC editor and then turn on full screen with function plus F11. And I'd like you to use the mouse over the tools so that you know where they are. And when you've done that, come back to our classroom and I will show you the next couple of steps.